The St. Anthony Water Reuse Facility collects filter backwash water, which is a waste byproduct from the city's water treatment process and stormwater runoff. The backwash water is collected in a half million gallon reservoir located underground and is recycled to irrigate a 20 acre site that includes a municipal park and the city hall campus. The facility itself is, contains a half a million gallon underground tank. So it receives water from 17 acres of parking lots and city hall and school district and, and uh, Hennepin County Road. Uh, and we reuse that water uh, in Central Park and the city hall campus. We have about 20 acres of turf area that used to be uh, watered using treated groundwater. We'd pump it out of the ground, run it through our treatment processes, and that takes cost quite a bit of money to run those treatment processes and chemicals and um, just filter and electricity and, and all the things that we need. Uh, and now we're able to reuse all of that water from both the water treatment plant and the stormwater runoff to irrigate Central Park. Prior to the project, over five million gallons of water were being used from the treated municipal water supply each year. Now, the irrigation water is replaced by water from the reuse facility. Not only does this conserve municipal water, but it also prevents polluted water from draining directly to Mirror Lake and the Mississippi River. As a result of this project, stormwater and filter backwash water discharged from the site to surface waters is reduced by more than 55%. During the growing season, the volume of water discharge is reduced by more than 90%. Pollutants are also reduced. Phosphorus loads leaving the reuse site have decreased by more than 95%. Instead, the vegetation on the site uses the phosphorus as fertilizer, allowing improved plant growth. In comparison, a conventional stormwater pond typically removes 40 to 60 percent of the phosphorus. We're actually going to get 100 percent phosphorus removal on all of the water that we reuse. Uh, and one of the components that we don't typically get in most of our water treatment processes, either in ponds or even some of the biofiltration systems, is that soluble fraction of phosphorus that can still move through the system. And that soluble fraction is the fraction that's most responsible and available for algae production and growth inside of lakes and streams. And with the water reuse facility, we're actually taking a physical volume of water out of the environment that would have been passed down to the lake and stream. So we get 100% of the phosphorus and suspended materials and all those pollutants out of that system. And it's used to irrigate the, the, the grassed areas and they, the grasses loves the phosphorus and the nitrogen and everything that's in that, that rainwater runoff. This project has saved the city more than $12,000 per year by reducing the need for treated municipal water while conserving groundwater. Due to the innovative nature of the project, it will serve as a demonstration site for future water reuse projects in the region. The project cost was $1.5 million. The Mississippi Watershed Management Organization contributed $1.2 million. Rice Creek Watershed District, $50 million. And Hennepin County, $250,000. Now, that covered the entire cost for the construction of the system. The city of St. Anthony's contribution is obviously the location of it and then the ongoing operation and maintenance expenses associated with the facility. So we figure immediately we've got about $800,000 in, in cash that we've already saved. So we only have $700,000 left to recover on an operations uh, side of things. So we believe in the savings and in, in using treated potable water for irrigating Central Park and then also the future costs we might have had and, and met council expenditures and discharge, that within 20 years we'll have recovered 100% of the cost of the operation of the system.